Shadow Strikes on yeah. Lena. I think Queen of Pain can win the lane. So poor rotations are also quite massive. Observer Ward does wear out. It's the bounty runes. Oh, I think, I think the save, the fissure. It does block him. That's enough. That should be enough to get the kill. He's trying his best to get the kill on Abed. He might actually just be able to because of the tower. No, he de goes DJ. What? Abed? Oh, he was trying to deny him, or sorry, yeah. kill himself, right? Yeah, yeah. Die to tower, or just die faster. Like, he yeah, sees yeah. the oracle, he knows that he's dead one way or the other. Okay, okay. Well, Sanking has one more movement speed <laughs> with, with wind lace advantage. Yeah, that's that's broken. Top lane back. Yeah, making a play again, but not working out. Yeah, save ice, ice, ice. Look at this. You know, the, the lane you're supposed to win is the lane you lose. Yeah, or nice. against oracle. Early just on don't skill it in the entire game. <laughs> just get stats instead, right? Necropulse could be dead here. Yep, that's rooted, and the Sandstorm should just kill him. Poloson gets that kill. Quite valuable for him. As VT faded comfortably farming under that tower because you don't, you don't care. On tier right? one. Yeah, confident but not stupid, right? Yeah. Mid well. again. They should no like mana for Laguna Blade. Blade. She does have Sonic Wave though. Abed. I think Lena realized there was a bit of miscalculation there with yeah, Mana. Push BT the fade out of the lane. He doesn't deal really well to skellies, unfortunately, because they do have that stupid magic resistance and the respawn. I hate those skeletons, so something else. Look, he summons even more, but I think Ice Ice is a bit too... He's got 21 charges, let me tell you now. He, <laughs> it's not he's not difficult to kill, but the Batrider, though, changes the two. Ahmed. They can still spot that Ghost Shark. Uh, no, not quick enough. Sonic Wave now changes, changes the round. Ringcard is still available for BT Faded. Ice Ice Ice, five stacks of the Sticky Nade. There's a Ringcard side. They know that was going to happen. So they have to use the false promise, and they're effectively using that reincarnation. Oh, BT Faded gets double crit, and that's able to save him. That's the wrong person to face it, buddy. You had to face it, the Ahmed there. But, Ahmed could be in trouble now. Flame Break pushing him back, so they can get the two extra hits. And it's a double kill for BT Faded. Look at him, 3.2k net worth. He's a thousand, oh, sorry, 600 ahead of the Earthshaker. Now with Blink Dagger up, Earth's going to level three. Coming, you are alone against four. Yeah. Silence doesn't stop your Sandstorm, but they can still kill you through the sentry. You can't use Blink when you're being focused. Like every single one of these Fnatic heroes might see the Batrider coming in. They do get a little fissure. Marksmanship box immediately, but they some of the oh. most promise. Abed aggressive. Using everything against them, but the Aphotic Shield actually helps him out a lot. The Burrow. Oh, on that's two. Happened. That's perfect. Can they go like, off yeah, the time? No. I needed the extra bit of damage there. Oh, that flame break could really screw over MP. <laughs> you were close to getting stuck there. So now is when MP falls back to jungle and tries to accelerate his farm. Feels like this map is going to start getting really small for Fnatic and Lena with Mules, Radiant Radiance, all these timings starting to hit. Bat Rider flies over the Fisher. <laughs> the couriers just to make sure they have vision of him. Oh, Velo. Oh, Velo's so annoyed by this. Well played with the courier, actually. I mean, Gabs will try anyway. Gabs like, oh, I think they're in the row shop. Why is Polosom pushing me away? I'm gonna take it over shot. I mean, Breaking's taking it relatively quickly, but unfortunately, he's also dying. So, he really needs to get a good lucky crit here. There's the Wraith Fire Blast. Keep the, mm, someone to tank it. Meanwhile, Lasso on the right hand side. Velo trying to create space. Gives his life away for the Aegis to be grabbed up by the Lena. It's level 15 achieved by Wraithing. That's a 15 strength, which is pretty big talent, actually. Really nice stacking. As Lena's going for the traditional build of just magic damage. Lena, they catch it with the Echo Sun. There's the Blink Echo you were talking about. Lena can still fight this now. Nah, now nah, with a Reaper Sight to the face, he loses the Aegis. And comes That's Reaper Sight used. It comes Wraithing Reincarnation ready. They have two years that will reincarnate this team fight. If you can kill them at least, because Jabs is already dead. And yeah, nothing to say, just trying to get some space. Sonic Wave will just barely clip him. He needs to get away to Fissure. Finishes him off. That's nice. But the Echo Sun used. Haven't went a bit too far in. Confident that he can get another kill. And instead meets his own demise. Now, Ice 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 the target. They don't want to waste the reincarnation here. They're already forced the buyback on two Jabs. Flipped the coin and made a made a, a misread. They go south and now realize quickly their mistake. Saw the Wraith King for a second. Try and shift to that. Yeah, but if you fight here in area, they are fighting near an open shrine. Is that scan? That's their scan, right? Yep. Dive no, scan, no, radiant nice. scan. Uh, that's that's. Is that right, both that's scans on the same spot? I'm not entirely sure because they're both used. So it, it definitely saw Fnatic, right? It definitely saw Fnatic. It yeah, got them. So sure. that's. Miscal TP. Oh, TP's out. Catch your Oracle! Oh, wait, nice, wait. DJ. This uh, is Winter's life, this whole football farce. Smoke into smoke. One hero dies. Sanking. Close and unlikely to realize this is going on. He's going to get blink echoed, I guess. I mean, they're, they're an issue. Oh, nice Fisher. And keep the vision with that dive ward, and then the jump comes out from Quat. And Fnatic dive straight in. That Roshan. 
How quickly does it die? Oh, okay. very quick. Yeah, marksmanship does not oh, care what on. Rafi got sent or stomped back in the neutral camp, so he's been delayed. His entry will be... Oh, wow. That is... Quite significantly slow. That is stupid. It has no reason. Because it is slow. The scanning mechanism as well. They do go in, but a bit too late. Wraith King, there's a sense of Yule Scepter, which they every miss everything on him, but it's okay, they can still hurt him. They debated, will be forced to reincarnate, the Frost Arrow's hurting him too much. Now the Epicenter to be with the reincarnation, the heal up damage to the Kento Necrophos, but he's taking it off for now. Ice Ice can heal back up, and Abed just went and blinked in, trying to get the kill onto Wraith King. Instead, we'll find Velo, needs another blink, needs the other blink, but doesn't want to do it so offensively. Man, look at the sustain on this dire side. They're all pretty much full HP outside of MP, who does still hold the Aegis. Lane, right, process of elimination, top tier one, top tier two. I want to see the Radiant team smoke, play with this item timing, and catch them off guard. Maybe try and kill that Drow Ranger as the Aegis expires. They're not going to be able to get through the front lines. Multiple front lines. Abaddon, Necro, Earthshaker, and even Queen of Pain blocking the advance of this Radiant team. Oh, but there's definitely an attempt to this Wraith King. Well, it's one of the best target Reapers that have been used. Only on the Sand King, not a big deal. However, this Wraith King might just lose his first life now. No use from the rest of his team. Here comes the Axe from the Wraith King being useful. Finally, second burst to the Ghost of the Sand King. But it is a Wraith King completely alone against a whole team. Foster finally gets used. Abin, ah, so he has cheese and he also has the Blink. He's going to be able to get away as they destroy the Lena in the back lines. Lena, open stun. Her goal's not too useful. Just yet, VT Faded will get killed a second time. Fnatic showing why they are one of the best in the region. Coming back into this game, yes, the ghosts from that Agonims on Wraith King allowed them to get another couple of stuns here and there. You know, Burrow Strike, great. Captures a couple on the tail end of that fight, but Fnatic just out-sustained them all. Pipe up for the Necro. Greaves, I don't think he's got used there. It's still off cooldown for the Necro. And they're looking to try and capture the bat. There's the Fisher to cancel TP and an additional kill in the mid lane for Abed. Itchy, itchy trigger finger for Abed. And they'll deward, they'll retake the plateau area, make sure they've got this pincer attack, this double pump attack mid and top lane, the ability to shove out both waves. Not just one lane you have to defend here as the Radiant team, you've got creeps entering the tier 3 mid at the same time. Wraith King on the front lines, this is dangerous for him. Slowed down, stunned into oblivion, very low HP as the marksmanship starts to kick in. Go back to Fountain, buddy. Pop out your skellies. Yeah, like skellies are where you can... Yes, he has none, no skellies. Oh, just use them, never mind. There's the skellies. But Drow, Drow does not care. You know, sure, you go back to Fountain, I'll take your Rex. Can they swing mid? Ideally. Palmer Scout makes a mistake, like they've done until now, or they can catch out the Wraithing. I mean, they're waiting for the big timings right now, so there's no need for them to pressure any further. I just realized it's nearly 7 p.m. by the way. It's like past midnight I know, in Southeast Asia. I, I hadn't even realized. It's crazy. I'm just like, yeah, 11 games, that's no big deal. Oh, wait, oh, hang on a second. <laughs> it's insane! Winter's family is crying out for him, like, where is he? Where is dad? Damn. Oh, pound the tower. Yeah. MP heard your comments, like, we're gonna, we're gonna do this for Winter. Ice, 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 ice is hot. Just standing high ground, <laughs> or in front lines, doesn't give a damn. Nice. I guess he had... But Jeff Lincoln's put on him by Quap. He did. At the same time as the Manta dodge. Both players on point, so I'm lucky that they didn't know they were both going to do it. Yeah. Oh, they initiate regardless. Quap in the trees. He's kind of stuck, but the Reaper Scythe will catch up Polison. Can they kill him in time? Mark's worship does, and he turns into a ghost. Polison charges the episode, trying to have some impact. This team fight, but isn't a blink dagger that Epi finally catches them. Ghost sinking, doing more than real sinking. BT faded, also dies here. MP still has Aegis, Ahmed still has cheese. They've got the blinks forward. Well, seeing nothing to say, trying to just push him away as much as he can with the Dragon Slave. Let's strike array. Fnatic telling this Radiant side just to bend the knee. You stand no chance. Four versus five now. And the scout refuses. They're never going to bend the knee. The North will stay with the King of the North. Final tier three. Top lane rack still exists, technically, but they don't care. And it's going to come down to this final jump. That rider needs to really consider his options wisely. They can't get the Drow. They might be able to get the Queen of Pain with a Lincoln's Pop, but Wraith King in reincarnation. One second. Oh, he'll get it with the Aghanim Scepter. Luckily, he will respawn. Okay. Like he's fighting to the death, but he's going to respawn whenever he dies. Yeah, exactly. So you're respawning in the middle of a couple of heroes. Can they kill him a second time? No, the Blink is immediate, but the Rax will fall. Luckily, they still have a range track. They try the lasso. The Aphro will fall. That was that, but it's too quick. They stop the Wraith King a second time. They have to give him the Pop Pump as a double. Lacuna Blink kills Abe, but the Echo Slam finally using it. Refresh shot. Can he get the second Echo? Slam out because they kill him in time, DJ. Can't have 
grab that impact he was looking for, but the burst are gonna two. Now going for Ice Ice Ice. Hopefully he can pull back. Cold. He has the Blink Echo. He does have the Blink. He has the Blink Echo a second time. Battery died as well, together with Wraith. He's all lying back. Going now, big creep wave. DJ's ready. Ice Ice Ice. Where's the Echo Slam? We'll see about seeing it. They have the two Ice Ice Ice. And there's the Echo. On to four. Destroying this cow. That's it. Sand King, buy back your Oracle, bring the Wraith King to the fight once more, but you can do nothing to stop Fnatic. They don't care, they believe in no god, their only god is DJ. Fnatic has just done it with a grace of an Echo Slam. Five games. <laughs> Five games, and after 11 games, Palmer's Gal tried so hard.